Randy for Thunder Horse Ascendant. I'm here today with project number five from the dollar bead box. So we're going to be doing dollar bead box business today. This is um, the little peep necklace with the little square and I'm super excited about it. It's going to be simple, easy, just like do a couple of stringing little deals, little wrapping, but quick, easy, and super cute. So let's get on down to the mat, get this party started. Hello, party people. Here we are down on the mat. So I've got everything ready for us. Um, today is going to be a combination of things. We're going to do a little wire wrapping and then a little stringing. So it's going to be a pretty easy project. Um, let me just premise this video by letting you know that we are at Thunder Horses in its studio where we are packing and shipping all of your handmade jewelry and your bead supply orders. So if you hear some stuff going on, that's us doing work. We also have pets. So we have pets that get crazy sometimes and they'd be running around here. And that's just how we roll over here at Thunder House. So with all that being said, let's talk about what we're going to use. So these bead items here are from the August 2022 dollar bead box and if you want to take a look see into what they have to offer you can visit this website right here and head on over there and check that out camera seems kind of bright right now uh, anyway so that's these guys here now this chain that I'm going to be adding this is just a chain that I chose you could choose any chain you wanted uh, this one I got at Taylor's Falls and I just thought it was cute and kind of dainty so I'm going to use that one. We are going to be using some soft flex uh, medium metallic flex wire today for our stringing portion. This one is in the color antique brass and so we're going to be using that for our stringing. And then we are also going to be using this 22 gauge rose gold. This came from Taylor's Falls. Uh, wire to wrap up our pendant. So first things first, let's get our pendant ready to go. And then we will just jump right on into it. Zoom in a little smidge. Alrighty. So here we are. We need one of these little peeps that I'm going to put on the bottom. And then I think I will put in one of these yellow guys. And we're just going to wrap this up. I'm going to use the 22 gauge wire. So I'm just going to get myself a little smidge of that. I'm getting a little excess piece because I don't know if I want to do extra wrapping on here or not. We shall see. So I am going to just make a loop. right here on my little dangly guy put him on there just like a charm okay make sure to be careful when I'm putting him on there so I don't break him because he is a check glass and do a little wrap. All right, so we got our little charm on there. And now I can just put this guy on. So I have this excessive wear because I think I am going to do a little wrapping around. So just deciding which bead. I think I like this part as the front.
So, get that straightened out there. And then, uh, just for a little interest, I'm going to go ahead and wrap around the bead. Like a so. I don't want this edge to fall off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plier here. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a bend. It stays on there. And I'm just going to wrap. And then I'm going to come back up to the top. Do I want to go back to the top? Why not? Why not? Why not? Give it a little something. Okay, and then I'm just going to this wear all tucked in the way I want. That looks cute. And then I'm just going to give it a little bend this way. And a little bend this way. You don't have to do this, I just think it's cute. There. So now we got our little pendant. Let's see them. I'm just going to take my player and make sure this is all good down there. Alright. Oh, he's ready to rock ready to rock now all we're gonna do is our stringing portion now you could hang this on a bale if you wanted to I don't think I will um, I was gonna put this little yellow guy on there but oh I didn't <laughs> so we're just gonna move that to the side and now we are going to put on all of these so easy peasy we're just gonna get us a little smidge of the metallic and we don't need that much really only like maybe seven inches or so probably not even that much gonna give it a cut and I am going to connect right onto my little piece of chain here so I didn't measure the chain I just grabbed up a little chunk so we're just going to attach right onto this chain and I'm going to get a crimp bead or a crimp tube maybe I'll use this copper crimp tube So I'm just going to put this on there and I'm just going to go right in here and hook right into the chain because why not? I'm going to get my crimper. I'm going to make sure these are not twisted in any way. And then I'm going to crimp this. Spin it. And give her the crimp. So there's the crimp. looking pretty good pull test is good so now all we're going to do is we're going to put on our peeps i think just to cover up the little wire here i am going to put on just one of these little beads and get him into place oh maybe he doesn't fit Well, he doesn't fit. Okay, so I don't really care for that, so I'm going to grab a spacer. Oops. 
some kind. I just have these little guys here in the drawer. These will work perfect. And then I can hide that little wire. No problem. All right, now we're just gonna, we're gonna put these on, but <clears throat> we are gonna hang our pendant portion on this one. So I am gonna have to split them to make sure that it's in the middle. So I'm just doing that by making two piles. I'm not counting them, but. Okay. And then I will put probably one of these, since I'm using them, I'll put them around um, the focal. So then we're just going to string these on. This is just going to add a little bit of texture and interest to our necklace. Easy peasy. Bring them up. You can see how they're looking there. These little beads are really cute. They're more round than the other ones that I was working with. I had gotten some, I think in another box or another design kit. These ones are more round than like say the drop ones, but they're still really cute. And I think that stringing them together will just add more interest and texture to our piece. So that'll be nice. And this Picasso finish that they have is really cute with this like red bronze. I like that a lot. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay, so these are kind of meant to go all wonkity wonk, like that was kind of the point. So I want them to do that. And then I'm gonna put on my spacer. And then our pendant. Well, I can see a wire out here I don't particularly care for. Let me get that little bad boy tucked in. There we go. And then we move on to the other side. Doesn't that look cute? Super good. I'm going to move these down here so my hand isn't in the way when I'm putting them on the string. this side up. Sometimes some of the like more easier projects, the more simple projects that I make, are some of my favorites. <laughs> like oh those look really cute and they're all kind of messy mess. So I enjoy that. Almost to the end. Mm 
Huh. Okay, and then the spacer as well. And then I'm just going to kind of shake them so they do the same thing the other side is doing before I crimp. Get gravity involved. Shake them up. I like that a lot. Okay, now we are going to, let's see, does this fit all the way around? It does. We can cut the other side. That'll be fine. Let's see what I got on this end here. Got a little piece of wire, but it's not really supposed to be here, so I'll take that off. And then I'll get my crimp. And we'll just do the same thing as we did on the other side. And run that back through this bead here. There we go. Alright, so I do want these to be tighter, but not so tight that they're going to start breaking off or anything. So I am going to leave a little bit of space. Not too much, but a little bit of space here. And then once I feel comfortable with it, I am going to go ahead and crimp. Here's what we have so far. Now you could stop here if you would like. You could just stop. So now what I'm going to do, let me see how long is this. I mean, I might be okay with just this. Gee. about 20 something inches let me see it looks a little long but not too much here yeah 22 inches that's fine that's not too bad I think what I'll do is maybe maybe I'll take about an inch off each side so we got 20 inches One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That could be used for earrings or something. And now we need our lobster claw. I'll just pop that on with a oval jump ring. Uh, maybe I'll just put a larger jump ring on this side and use it as the clasp. Alright. Put that on this side here. a little different color not in love with that so I will go back to the small one oh, this one has a little excess chain on it Not 
Okay. I think we're doing smashing. Okay, so I'm going to try this on for you. I'm going to switch to the other camera. This little part, I don't know that it wants to twist, but I don't know if it's going to do that when it's up against the skin, so that's a look. But, I mean, other than that, I really like it. Uh, if we didn't care for this part here because of the twisting, we could always take it off and we still have this. So let's try her on and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to remove the one I have on. <clears throat> so we can take a look at how this is going to lay when it's on. Can I zoom with this camera? No. Hang on, I'm going for a ride. Okay. So I'm not loving how this is flipping. Um, so we're going to take it off. No problem. No worries. It's just beating. Uh, we'll just take it off. So I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to switch back to my down camera. That's too bad. I was hoping that it would work out. But just... I'm just not loving how it's twisting up. So, let me switch down to the down camera and we'll just take it off. Let's just try this again. Yes, this is good. I prefer it this way better. Just because I liked the little part, but since it was just flipping around, just causing havoc. We don't need any more havoc. <laughs> we don't need any more havoc over here. I think it's cute. All right, you guys, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure to subscribe, give me a like, make a comment, all the things and stuff. Uh, I will be back with some more videos and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful, spectacular, amazing day. I'll get you some pictures and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.